So today I'm going to show you how to get the most optimal quality for a longer format DVD. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up Media Encoder, which is what I've done here, once your project is completely edited in Premiere Pro. And then you're going to go to File and Add Premiere Pro Sequence. So that's what I'm going to do. And there's my sequence. If you only have one timeline, it's going to find it. Otherwise, it's going to ask you to pick which timeline you want to export. I only have one timeline, so there it is. You're going to come down here on the right, and you're going to expand the DVD area. And we're going to go to um, NTSC DV Wide Progressive. We're going to drag and drop that on there. There it is. And now if I click on this, we can get the exact details here. And we can see that we're looking at an estimated file size of uh, about 4.8 gigs. So here's the deal though. Um, if you look at, turn the, the video off and we look at the audio, the audio is taking up 1.1 gigs. That's a lot of space for audio and it's really not um, true to the way it's going to be on the final disc, which is going to give us more room. We want to maximize the amount of um, space we have on the disc so we don't have to compress it as much. That way we don't lose quality because that's what happens when you compress the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to export just the audio first. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to let it do its thing. And you can see over here, when I let that play out, it's exporting it. And that's great. Now that that's done, let's bring that in and see what it really is. What we're going to be doing is compressing it in Encore. So what you want to do is open up Encore and start a new project. So that's what I've done here. Here's my new project. And how I know it's going to compress it is if I look at the default transcode settings, you won't have to do this, but see how it says audio transcoding. It's going to make it Dolby Digital. You're going to see how it's going to take that 1.1 gig file way down in size, which is going to open up more space for us to compress the video content. So I'm just going to click on OK. We'll click on OK here. Here's our new project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my project. I'm going to make a timeline because um, you need to definitely have a timeline. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to Import as Asset. And here it is here. There's my WAV file. So I import that in. And now what happens is when I bring that in here, I'm going to drop that in the timeline. And now if I go over to the Build tab, let's take a look at how we're doing. 1.1 gigs, right? Realistically, it's only 184.5 megs. See the difference? That's why it matters because I only have 4.7 gigs on a single-sided DVD. So what we need to do is then do the math. And to do that, you know that you've got 4.7 total. So, so let's be fair. Let's make it more like 4.6. So you've got 4.6 and you want to take out 200 megs. So that's 0.2 just to give it a little rough estimate. So 4.6 minus the 0.2 is what you're going to do. That means you've got room for 4.4 gigs of video on that disk. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bounce back into Media Encoder right here. We're going to right click on this, Reset Status. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at these properties again. This time we're going to turn off audio and we're going to have the video on instead. So if we come down here and we look at the basic settings, we want to bump this up to 100% quality. And then the numbers that you want to look at are this one right here, the target bit rate. So the maximum is pretty good, the minimum is pretty good. Change this to two passes. And then we're going to slide the bit rate to about 5.48. This one here is the one you want to slide because this is what has a direct impact on the numbers. So we can go from 3 gigs, but we know we have 200 megs of audio, so we can go up a little bit more. We need to leave a headroom for the disk processing itself. So I would say about maybe 5.48 is pretty good, and that should give us enough space. Okay, so once that's done transcoding, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Encore and you're going to import it as an asset. 
So there it is. It's going to read it real quick and it's going to determine that it doesn't need transcoding because we've already transcoded it. Don't transcode, see? And then we can just click it and drag it right into our timeline. And now let's go back to our build. And notice we've got 4.5 gigs used. We're good. We've got 130 megs free on the disk roughly. And we are all set to go ahead and finish this project. So what we would do is we would go ahead and name the disk, you know, pick our first play and then uh, any menu, you know, develop that or whatever. And then go ahead and build it and burn it.